Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm, I'm going to make uh, stuffed peppers and um, I wanted to show you how I do this. It's very simple. My grandmother would sometimes make meatless stuffed peppers back in the days in Macedonia. Nowadays I do my best to recreate her dish. It's a really simple recipe which relies heavily on the aroma of vegetables and herbs. There is no cheese or anything else that comes from an animal in here. So vegans can follow this recipe as well. What you will need is a pan that can both be used on the stove and in the oven. So a casserole would be good or a Dutch oven. And you will need rice, ideally some kind of risotto rice. Obviously peppers, then you need onions, then you will need um, some kind of bouillon. It's vegeta. It's something that we also used back in the days. And then you will need some sunflower oil, fresh and dried herbs, a few carrots, some parsnip, and for the real Balkan taste you add some garlic and quite some sweet pepper powder. And as with everything you will need some salt and pepper. This dish could be seasonal in the sense that my grandmother would use dried peppers in winter. Most of you actually know these dried hot peppers. But in Macedonia and, and I think in Turkey and anywhere south, we also dry uh, bigger sweet peppers. You can do this in summer when it's warm and dry outside and the peppers are fully ripe, of course. It's a way of preserving summer. During late autumn, winter, early spring, you can place the pepper in, in some water uh, and it will get back its consistency in some, in some way. And then you can fill them up with whatever you want and prepare the dish the same way that I'm doing it right now. Small handful, I don't have big hands. 
and it doesn't matter if it's too much because it, I will put some rice outside the uh, peppers. So, and just mix it up until your ingredients are fully mixed and your rice becomes translucent. And now add the bouillon that I prepared. You can add whatever you have, but don't forget to add water as well. For the final seasoning, I'm chopping up some parsley. I'm also adding sweet paprika powder, salt and pepper, and some apple cider vinegar. Don't forget to taste in between everything. I will also need five thin parsley slices. I will now just fill the pepper with the filling. About this full, and I will try to push this inside. Perfect. Two or three spoons, probably more like three spoons of this Hungarian red pepper just mix it up the nice thing about this is that your sauce will get a, a beautiful red color and then I will um, oh, this smells so good I will add some of um, my homegrown bay leaf I added five but they were really small um, you could, you could add two or three. Okay, now I will put back the peppers. You want to have the tallest one on their sides and the, the flat, the, 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 the smallest ones, they can stand upright if it doesn't fit. For me, this is the best fit. I'll add some more water for about two thirds of the pan, as you can see. I'll wait now for an hour or so. So, let me check. Mm, this smell, this smell is really good. What I want to do now, I want to turn the peppers on the new side. They should really go soft, and when they are soft, totally on all sides, I will put them in the oven and they will grill for, I don't know, it depends a bit on your grill, but until they are nice and brown. Let's see, my peppers are now ready to go into the oven. You know it's time when you see that the color of the full pepper has changed and that you can feel that they are very soft. Now go into a preheated oven without a lid. Head it on 220 degrees with a grill on top for about 45 minutes. It will greatly depend on your own oven, so please check up on it. You're aiming for this kind of results, uh, where you have a small brown layer on top of the peppers and a really thick red sauce. You don't want to have the bottom of the pan burnt though. And now you're done. You can now serve it with a piece of bread or some yogurt, whatever you want. Nazdravje, who would say in Macedonia. On your health. You can find the full recipe on my blog. Thank you for watching again.